Um, WAC 100 and 21 Savage exchange words, right? Wild, wild, wild. They've done it before. Um, yeah, they've done it before, but they cooled it down. It, it wasn't like uh, they, you know, two grown men handling things. They, they were able to squash it out. But I think it all started over Clubhouse. You know, the WAC 100, the giant from Clubhouse, one of the trailblazing pioneers of Clubhouse, right? And you got 21 Savage, 21 Savage and Meezy, who was his manager, I believe. They got quite a following, too. They got a good movement right there on Clubhouse. They got a good um, room. But I believe someone from uh, the Meezy 21 Clubhouse, right, they went over to 100 ENT, and they stirred up some drama. And as we all know, Black 100 is not the person to start drama with, you know. We know that. We've understood that at this point. So... As Wack does, he went back and, you know, he was like, well, if this is coming from this side, then he went back with his rhetoric and shit. And it's obviously on YouTube for y'all to see. Um, claiming that 21 Savage is apparently um, could be speaking on the wild sale case, right? Could be uh, an alleged snitching or situation like that. I can't even say stuff like that because, you know, when in the streets, if you say stuff like that, and it would out. So I'm just saying like what's already said, but you know what I mean? So they were talking on that, and they got loud. They got, they, you know, voices raised and shit like that. What do y'all think? Y'all think, think some, an, a statement like that or allegation like that can hold some sort of validity, some sort of merit? It's 21 Savage, right? What do y'all think? Shout out 21. Shout out Wack 100. Shout out to both of them. But I just want to know what y'all think about that situation.